So welcome to what is essentially going to be uh, part 97 of Tales of Asperia. So this is an area called the Necropolis of Nostalgia. It is huge. Uh, there are six different layers to this place, and each layer has multiple floors. And it just takes a long-ass time to go through. So as opposed to recording like 15 different YouTube episodes for this place... As I've made it to the third floor, I'm going to fight my way through the remaining floors to get the weapons I need on stream, because it's going to take a while. Actually, I think I need to go this way. Oh, uh, when that game comes out that everyone is talking about, will you play it? Yeah, probably. Chances are it's usually a yes. Made some coffee to get through this. Asper with the tier two. 18 months of love. Well, the thing, see, the, the only saving grace here, Borg, is I'm not going through the whole dungeon right now. I just need to get through the first two layers, at which point I'll have the weapons I need, then I can leave. So this gives you an idea of the, the map I need to follow. Uh, one of those takes you to floor nine, one of them takes you to floor four. So I basically need to go right, 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 up, up, up just to get to the next floor on this layer. It's it's a lot, I know. It sounds like a lot. But the floors usually aren't that bad. Like, the initial one, you know, we're just... It's just, it's repetitive is all it is. It's like a repetitive dungeon. Eventually there's some bosses and stuff. And you can see what happens here. This is what's weird about this place. It's kind of hard to see because of that. I'm just going to go to a different, go to the next room. Um, so when you get through these floors, a little timer will show up in the middle of the floor. Oh, this thing is getting just slapped on. So you can see I could either go up or I could go to the right, and this timer ticks. If I don't move by the time the timer's done, more monsters show up. It, it really is, it's like an almost never-ending dungeon. And occasionally you have floors like this one that have treasure chests. So far the treasure chests haven't been that good, so I'm mostly going to be skipping them. Let me just to uh, four lenses. I can't even identify the chests. Life bottle. How do you not like twiglets? Because they were disgusting. How do you why? why? Do you typically like eating garbage? This way. So I gotta go up. Cover me, would ya? Alright, I'm on it. And another. I does not want to die. Okay. One more and I'm at the floor. Tornado needs to level up so I can stop knocking them down. 
Rita is just casting like the biggest spells that she doesn't even need right now. Dropping out giant meteor storms. A lot of work for these little minions. Up, and then up one more. Come here, big boy. Thirty-four thousand. Oh, he's fucked. He's weak to light, and that happens to be the element of my sword. How long do I plan to live stream until I have Flynn and Patty's fell arms? That's the title, hunting down the fell arms. There's no way we're gonna lose. That's the goal right now. What are the fell arms? Uh, so, fell arms are legendary weapons in the game that start off kind of potato. This is a fell arm. Doesn't seem that good, right? No stats, no nothing, everything else has skills on it. But, at the end of the game, they, uh, one, if you have all of them, you get a bonus boss at the very end, and two, they unlock and become their unsealed versions. And the unsealed versions are basically the best weapons in the game. They have, uh... <clears throat> the, the mainstay of them is that the fell arm goes up in strength for every enemy defeated. So, by late game, if you have them all and they get unsealed, you can do, you know, you basically have fell arms that can, uh, just, just clap. Like, we're talking 9999 per hit. Which helps for, like, the super enemies and stuff. Alright, uh, since he just got that, we can turn off Arts, you Tempest can be turned off Same with Aberdeechi Off and off Alright, go back to learning your Oh no, no, that's One second, let me check here real fast On Raven Tempest is from Havoc Gale Everdichi turns into Inverno. That's off. That's off. Uh, let me make sure he has his stuff on. He should have on Rain, which he has. Glimmer of Heaven around Heaven's Tear. Have stuff on. Bell Chain, Alumbic Cruise. Falling and Falling Stars. And then Averdici turns into Inferno. Havoc Gale turns into Tempest. Alright. So he said, I'm trying to make them, <clears throat> there's alternative versions of spells. For example, this is usually one blast. I have an upgraded version that does two blasts. A uh, straight. What was your personal score on Nier Automata? I just saw where you released Game of the Year Edition. Um, I don't remember if I gave it a score, but I like Nier Automata a lot. I probably rated it at like 9 out of 10. Dude, Rita's crazy. Uh, no, the camera's off just because I'm feeling tired. I'm just sitting here, kind of like a potato right now. Just in pajamas. Man, my eyes hurt. Like, so I woke up. <clears throat> I typically, 
Um, you know, I get up for work around 6.30. And the cat was being an absolute little bitch this morning. And I go up? I thought I had to go up. Hold up. I came from four. I went, oh no, yeah, I go up one. Oh no, this was the treasure room. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so basically this morning, Princess just fucking starts fucking with the lamp and shit. But she wants food. Won't leave me alone. So eventually I just get out of bed. It's like 5.45. So... Well, 45 minutes of sleep doesn't seem like a ton. You know, waking up when you're not done your sleep cycle is never fun. Are you done already? So basically, I'm just I'm just fucking tired today. She woke me woke me on up. Want to go to bed? But I need to get this done if I'm gonna be able to finish this. Thankfully, the fifth floor we can almost skip entirely. How much of Tails is left? Ah, uh, there's a good bit. After this dungeon, there's a couple world events that happen. And then, uh, And then the final dungeon with the boss. There's a bunch of post-game stuff, but I'm not gonna do that for you. But, I mean, even then, like, just check in here. I am up to... The YouTube playthrough is up to 96 parts. This, this stream is gonna be considered part 97 because... You know, it's just, it's easier to, uh, it's easier to just stream this whole dungeon and upload it, than break into parts. You can't see my face because I'm tired. Also because I'm low on sleep and having a ring that hurts my eyes. Yeah, dungeon grind with the arms. There's no way we're gonna lose. Raven isn't really doing his arts at all. Keep an eye on it. The largest number of episodes... Uh... The Witcher 3. This is the second most. Mm. So, there's certain treasures that are considered... Oh shit, donation hi, thanks David. I never told you like a more handsome Kevin Owens. Uh, I've not heard that before, but I'll uh, appreciate that. So sixth floor. Oh, this one's long, and there's a special treasure I need to go get. We gotta go right, right, down, down, up, left. Long ass room. This, this guy right here, that that green, a special treasure. The one in the middle isn't anything. In we go. Over here, still casting and shit.
It's funny you mentioned that trend, because I was, uh... There were some articles I noticed popping up of people trying to downplay that. They're like, Sekiro is one of the most accessible... One of the most accessible Souls games made so far, and they're like, just be sure, the game is very hard, but that doesn't mean that people that were bad at Dark Souls won't enjoy it. And I'm like, y'all are out of your fucking mind. This game is amazing. Like, without question, the difficulty I experienced in Sekiro was like, holy fuck. I mean, I'm excited to play it still. But like, dude, I can tell you right now, if you're somebody that was never good at parrying in Souls, you're gonna fucking hate Sekiro. Because half that game is based around parry. It's all about deflection. And if you can't deflect, you're gonna have a bad time. This thing is important. I gotta kill this guy first. Stylish shades. Oh, fuck it. No, no, let me out. Let me. Ah, oh, shit. All that for an apple gel. Uh, no. I ended up going to New York. I don't even have my passport right now, so I couldn't have gone to Japan. Parrying is closer to gun parries, if anything. I'll play Devil May Cry tomorrow, yes. Seven. This one's pretty fast. Up, up, over.
those up, I think. New Wailing Blast. Severing Fang. Severing Fang, you jump. You know, you're jumping way up. Because this one, you like, hit them, and then you do go up, but it's more about the hit. Uh, so I went up, and I go up again. Alright, team, you take them out. I'm gonna go beat up these chests. Jail. I feel like for the most part, I'm just gonna start ignoring this. They're just. No, it's, it's just gels. It's gels so I can go deeper. This is where we need to be. But oh lord, we gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fucking rooms to reach the thing we need. Ugh. Not too bad though. 30 minutes to reach the first, well, 30 minutes to get to the floor the first weapon's on. And then I gotta go through the next layer to get the other one. Oh, Christ, this place is huge. See that? See that? That We started white. We gotta go all the way to this guy right here. Oof. This is considered an optional area, but... If you want to fight the secret third form of the final boss, you gotta do this. Which I never did when I originally played it, so of course I want to do all that. I gotta try and keep up. Thanks, Rita. Can't see anything. Alright, come here, big boy. Taking much damage, but whatever, he's dead. Gotta go up three times and then over one. I will take care. These guys have a lot of health. Let me see. They're they're scrubs, little bats. Weak to dark. That's why I'm not hurting you much. I don't know what Raven's always doing with that that arrow. Heavy bear. Shining 
I didn't think about that. I could open battles up. Open up with Tiger Blade for some extra hits. off my face for today. But I'm not no camera. I'm gonna take my face off. Pete will finish that thing off. I need to get this. Brilliant! Brilliant! Hey! Open up, you fucking chest! Got it! Seven branched blade. Ugh. Pain in my ass, dude. Yeah, see, the camera, I had to turn off the camera because too many viewers were getting super horny just staring at me. And they were like, oh, fuck, big cowboy daddy. That's what I like to see. So I didn't have a choice. I had to, with the safety of Twitch, I had to turn it off. Uh, I don't have any thoughts on the scaling bug. It's a bug. They've already said it's a bug. They've said they're gonna fix it. Why is there any point talking about it more? Alright, I gotta go down. Basically, go down until I can make a right.
cats are surrounding me. They're like, feed us now! Four, forty, it's four fifty, it's almost dinner time. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And I go up. We didn't need to learn how to cancel her fucking cast. It's 450. Yeah. Nice job. Why are you talking to me like I'm crazy? Ninth floor. This one's quick. Tenth floor, also quick. I wonder if when I'm done a level, if it's just considered done and not like. Ugh. Like when I come back here, do I need to. Do I need to go through like all of this again? Because that would suck. And possibly dissuade me from ever coming back to this dungeon. This one is just one boop straight over. One boop. Yep, I'm just here to get the weapons. You can't even do the full dungeon until you beat the final boss, because this is an optional dungeon. Thankfully, this is a quick floor. We just go straight here. Boop, it's done. Oh, I fucked it up. Let's try it on you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he died before I could execute it. You died too. There's no way we're gonna lose. No, the game does have an end. There, there, there is a definitive end. Just takes a long time to get there. I actually, out of curiosity, after one of the more recent episodes, I booted up my Xbox 360 and uh, pulled up my game to see how far I was. I had a post-game save at 96 hours and a new game plus save at like 110. Don't remember like half of it, but it just goes to show you how freaking crazy long this game actually is. At some point, I spent 110 hours of my life sitting in front of an Xbox, just jamming the fuck out. I gotta go left, up, up, right, and then we're done the first, the first layer, the firmament. Alright, stop running, come back here. Wonder if there's gonna be like a, a floor boss. I got Stylish Sage and Flynn's Fell Arm. That's all that matters. I'm using this. Ugh, now we go up. Up, up. Treasure room. Special gel. Miracle gel. Dude, I actually remember the SAO game. Like, holy shit, you want to talk about really grindy? Like, this game's grindy, but, like, the combat's fucking fun, at least, you know? Oh, my God. 
Yes. This is it. That's all. Came all the way here, and it's just a Naraka and a Chief Bat Jr. Repeat, go attack somebody else. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next area is the Pirate Satin Fell Arm. Then there's Starblade Tatis, Overdrive Knight, Serpent Spear Dragoonace, Lion Soul, Sidekick Mask, Wonder Mask, Elite Mask, Dags and Call, Imperial Sword of Light. All kinds of shit. But all that matters is I am done with the Firmament Layer. Firmament, bottom level. I don't know what happens here, but if there's a boss fight, I am, uh... Everybody, get on up. Emerald Ring, Fairy Ring, Stun, Mystic. Yeah, it's all correct. I found some good shit. Maybe there's something that's better for you. You're kind of my tank. That sounds good, maybe. Yeah, let's give you the Alexandra. Oh, there's definitely a fucking boss fight. Uh, repeat. Let's give you some skills, buddy. You have all the vitality already. Alright, let's give you more luck. Luck and, uh... Um... How about we give you, uh... Is there any more attack we can have? Rise attack. Steel plus. Let's give you cross counter, maybe. Um... Oh, no. Skills. FS bonus 2. Oh, Raven, Raven, Raven. You're doing a lot of strength stuff right now, so we'll give you that. Rita, you got 8 points to spend. How about... Stun Magic. Uh... Boss Counter. And some Defend. Damn it, is this a full heal orb? It is. Son of a bitch. Just use my items. I think we finally reached the bottom. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't. I suppose you're right. Don't be so disappointed. Heartbroken, but that's okay. The adventure is satisfying. I've been set for an archer and tatatory in that game. What a great attitude. Glad I got to see the final resting place at Children of the Full Moon. Gives away and gives me the courage to face the Autophagos myself. Oh, beefy boy. Okay, um, Anubis, level 55. Oh, you're weak to the element of my sword. I'm gonna get your cheeks clapped. They knocked him down. Stop that. They're interrupting my combo. Dickhead! Thirteen. Want a yearly pizza for my birthday next week? <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start with that comment. <laughs> Dude, this thing is getting just is this this is supposed to be a boss. Damn. 
Stand up. Alright, that hurt a little bit, but... This is where you die. I'll cut down any enemy who gets in our way. Yes. Hey, I'm getting pretty good. Beat that thing's ass. The heck was that? Guardian of the tomb. Look at that. It's another elevator. Where there be a guardian, there be treasure. Oh, Lord. Um... Um, 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 is everybody... Let's see if anybody's missing abilities. I don't think anybody is. I'm pretty sure I got everybody learned on their stuff. Uh, what about you, Estelle? Isn't there something you were missing? Oh, everyone's, everyone's learned all their shit. Alright. Through the second layer we go. Floor 9 is a deluxe pirate hat. City of the Waning Moon. What? What the fuck? See, this is all new. This wasn't in the game back when I played. I've never seen or experienced any of this. Mortis Wow, with the two month streak sub hype. Walk on, land of dead. Well, that's certainly not good. Can I go towards that middle area? Crazy, this whole thing is underground now.
What the fuck? A waste to the end to the K and all who dare aid them? I shall restore the rule that was unjustly wrested from me? Who is this guy? We are the rulers of men, the children of the full moon. A thousand years ago, we ruled this world until our ancestors aligned with the Entelike unlocked us away. Why would one child of the full moon betray another? Let me guess, you've held a grudge ever since. You really know how to buy your time. I knew this day would come, and Rita's power has allowed me to weather a thousand years that my revenge may come to fruition. At last, the time has come. Return to the surface and bow down before me. Stop. The full moon, who refused to form an alliance with the Antilike and deal with the Atafagos, were imprisoned here by those who did. So what, the people outside are their descendants? More importantly, what's the plan here? Track down Oma? I need to do something. That was one disturbing speech. Another formula over there. Another warp. We can head down. Not gonna try and stop us? Great. The fuck? Oh man, that's disorienting the way the camera just pans like that. That's set up exactly like the tomb up above. Go, we have the chance. Existence. Alright, this one is pretty fast. Let's get one, two, three, four rooms. Patty's is nine, so I could jump straight to floor five. If I skip floor four, I miss out on a pirate hat, y'all. Do I really want a pirate hat that bad? I don't think I do. Ancestors did this to Oma. They trapped all those people down here. They had their reasons. People themselves didn't seem too bitter about it. it looked like they'd forgotten who they were. Centuries would do that to people. And Oma remained bitter. He said something about Enrito. What's that? Never heard of it, but I'm guessing it's some sort of life extending medicine. How crazy would it be if that really existed? Thanks. I wouldn't want to have to rely on some crazy drug to stay alive. Can't help feeling my curiosity led us to a chest we shouldn't have opened. You have me apologies. I don't want to get to you. If we had found it, someone else would have. Maybe we can reason about a thousand year grudge. I don't know. It'd be nice if you were to open it. Speculate all we like. Nothing's going to change until we find it. No, Jack. I'll feed you later. It's not dinner time. Stop begging. Existence, first floor. So, still basically just bats. Did I ever put light arrow on him? This one's easy. We just go up. We just go straight up. You do not hit the puppy like that. Shining 
Labyrinth of Memories? Oh, not yet. Really debating if I want to go get the, the hat. Because I could get the hat. So hold on. Alright, if I go for the pirate hat. If I skip the floor five, that's a lot of skipping. If I don't, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17. 17 extra battles for a pirate hat. Mm, that's pretty steep. Y'all think it's worth it for a fucking pirate hat? There's no way we're gonna lose. I mean, this is the only place in the game you can get it. I use a controller on PC, clear. No, it's a it's a cosmetic item, like um, like uh, let me find one that would work, like something like that. Pipe. Oh yeah, it'll be like that, but it'll be like a pirate hat. I could have little devil wings, sunglasses, Elton John Yuri. You're right, it is fashion. It's also a lot of fucking battles for some fashion, bro. I'm just saying. You're, you're making some... You're asking a lot of me here. When are you gonna learn your shit, Raven? Not worth it. You know what? Let me, let me look it up. Let me look up. I want to see a visual of this thing. Uh, Deluxe Pirate's Hat Sparia. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, Tales of Vesperia, Deluxe Pirate Hat. Somebody has to have a picture of this thing. Um, where can I find Pirate Hat? Oh. Um, Black Hat? Uh, hey, I'm looking for it. Uh... Black bunny ears, veil, expensive canteen, angel outfit, bunny girl ears, nerdy glasses. Pirate's hat. No, it's deluxe pirate's hat. If the thing I found is right, it looks just like the hat. If the thing I found is accurate, it looks just like the hat she's wearing already. But I could have, like, a matching one for Yuri, basically. I don't know, man. That's a lot of hustle for a fucking hat. That probably wouldn't look good on Yuri. If it was a bunny suit for Judith, I'd say get it. Well, we gotta decide. Let's, alright, chat, ready? Speed pull. Speed pull time. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna give you like a minute and a half here. Do we go for the pirate hat? A lot of extra floors for a hat. It's fashion. But, as you can see right here, if we want to go for the pirate hat, we gotta go for the bottom red. If we go for the other red, we skip straight to the fifth floor. So floor two is like three battles versus like ten. Is 
so you're getting the hat? No, not according to the poll. Alright, the decision is no. No, with the pirate hat is not worth. Now you gotta remember, I can always come back to this place. Recount? No, oh, man, why, why y'all wanna recount? We just did this. The hat was no. Tell you what, you got until I'm done this for it, you gotta make me a damn good reason to go get this hat. Because I can leave this place and go right, or I can go down, and that's the journey for the hat. Timer's ticking, tick tock, tick tock. That is a note. What about Angel outfit? We can't get that yet, that's deeper in. I don't hear any good reasons for it. Fashion Tales. For the gains. It's a it's a pirate hat. It doesn't even look that good. Fashion Tales is not a good enough answer. I'm sorry, we are skipping to floor five. You didn't even see a picture of it. How do you know it doesn't look good? Because I did see a picture of it. I told you there was. I, I looked up the wiki. The hat. Look, it looks exactly like Patty's hat right here. It looks just like that. I will. I will pull up the fucking picture for you, since you want to be a little bitch. Let's see. Pirate. Look, boom. Deluxe pirate hat. Attachment. That's the hat. That's exactly what she has on in this DLC outfit. This is this is a good outfit. I like this outfit. That's why the Judith White. Not e exactly, you know, it's like it's not even a good hat. It's not even that good of a hat. Uh, so I need to go to floor 9 for Patty shit. What sucks is I can skip straight to floor 10, but that ain't gonna fly. I gotta go to, to floor 6. And so I gotta go... Uh, right, right, down, down, right. Yo, for real though, as soon as I get this weapon... I'm probably going to stop streaming and go to bed. I'm so tired right now. I have no idea. I've been recording... I've been recording my ass off with this game. Like, to put it into perspective, right? So, you know, I usually do the Monday through Friday. Friday's episode is number 80, right? Since then, I have recorded up to episode 96. So, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might, I might bump it up to, like, three episodes a day if I do that, uh, let's see, that would be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If I bump it up to three episodes per day and include uh, the weekends, I can get this series done within a week on YouTube, which, which might be what needs to happen because it's been just dominating my channel for a while and I need to finish it. Hit him with that magic lens. I feel about Resident Evil 2 Remastered DLC. I already said I'm not doing it.
this way. Does anyone know if you can skip back down to layers? Let me see. Um, skip finished layers. And Okay. Da 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 That sub high gamma rex coming in with the 50 fucking month. That's huge. Oh, Aaron, this is what I was looking for. Uh, as long as you complete a layer, you can exit and return at any point without losing progress. All right, so we finish the second layer, which will be easy, and then we're we're out of here. Why is it still not? Casting at all. Uh. Hey, Stell, you wanna fucking move or do something? Jack, get out of here. I'm not feeding you right now. Stop. You eat at six. You need to learn to not beg. Stand up, you little shit. That's one way to take care of the problem. Alright, uh, where are we going? I think it's down now. Down? Shit, I was looking at stuff and I lost my guide. Uh, uh, yes, down. Down, down, right. Got it. This Tail Series protagonist is a bit lackluster. Get the fuck out. Yuri is one of the best protagonists in any game ever made ever. Yuri is fucking phenomenal. His character development. He has a good arc. He's not a fucking edgelord like half the fucking protagonist in Final Fantasy. Brilliant! Brilliant! And he's a badass who gets stronger by his own abilities, not some mystical fucking bullshit. Exactly, dude. Yuri has he has sarcasm, he has character, he has feeling to, to his like lines and shit. When it comes down to it and somebody needs to be called the fuck out, he's not afraid to do that. Like, dude, 
Yuri is such a good protagonist. I don't even know how you could call that into question. I mean, Geralt's a great protagonist, but see, we're blurring the lines here. Because Geralt, while he does have his game, Geralt was written. And I think it's it's a little, I mean, you know, you're basically taking, like, a best-selling novel character that was turned into a game character and comparing it to a character that was created just for a video game. Like, if you want to compare Yuri to other protagonists, compare him to, um... What's her name from Tales of Viseria? And I can't even remember her fucking name. What was the main what was the main protagonist's name? What was her name? Tales of Viseria. Violet? Was it Violet? Ballot? No, it's not Ballot. It was Violet, right? Velvet. Velvet was it, yeah. Yeah, like Velvet was pretty cool, but not as cool as you. Yuri's just dope. I mean, let's let's compare Yuri to other common RPG protagonists. Cloud. Cloud is a big whiny pussy with fucking spiky hair that's basically not even a real person himself. He's he basically fucking uh, took what's his name? So who's the Zack? He took like Zack's ability, took up Zack's sword, and was like, I need to continue Zack's mission. I don't have an identity. I'll be, I'll become something. Can't even figure out what the hell he wants to do. That's, that's, uh, Cloud. Look at Squall. Squall, another popular big JRPG protagonist. Squall is the whiniest ass little emo bitch. Squall that kind of dude to, like, go to a sleepover with his buddies and ask to paint her toenails. He's a little bitch. He'll come on over and be like, I used to paint Rhinoa's toenails and this reminds me of it. talked about Zidane. Zidane's pretty cool. Gunsword. Guess what? Gunsword isn't a personality, man. If the best part of your character design is your weapon, what does that say about how shitty your character is? Oh, don't even get me started on fucking Noctis. Noctis. Ugh. Ugh, fucking Noctis, like a whiny goddamn child that's told he can't have a snack. Baby the entire fucking series. Same thing with Titus. Titus is a little bitch. Titus is a little bitch. Best character from Final Fantasy X was Auron. Without question, a mysterious old dude. Totally badass. Then we have what? Final Fantasy XI. That was a uh, that was an MMO, so you don't really have a protagonist there. Um, and then moving on from there, we had twelve. Oh yeah, fucking Vaughn. Jesus Christ! You want to talk about a potato of a protagonist? Vaughn was so annoying, you would think he was the character you were meant to get pissed off at. Don't don't need to discuss his ass further. And then in 13, we had Lightning. Now, Lightning was kind of cool, but Lightning was so confused, I don't even think she knew what was going on half the game. And honestly, I didn't really like the way they, they approached uh, the first 13. Like, with it constantly splitting up your party, like, here, play as these two people. All right, now play as these two people. Now let's play as these two people. It was just all over the place. Lightning didn't really know what the fuck she was doing. She didn't have real good direction. I actually liked Final Fantasy... Uh, was it 13-2? 13-2 was awesome. When you had the little monster in your party and you could learn skills and shit, it was like a little bit of a Pokemon flex. That was cool. Uh, and then you had uh, Lightning Returns. God, what a fucking train wreck of a game that was. Half of it, I quit playing it. I stopped playing it. It literally was like fucking Lightning Dress Up Simulator. God damn, it was so bad. 
then we had 14, which is pretty dope, but it's MMO. And then you had 15 with fucking Come Guzzle and Noctis, which we've already discussed. Now, I haven't played all the Tales games, so I can't, you know, give a blow by blow of their protagonists. But considering, uh, you know, if we're if we're if we're to stack Yuri against, you know, this edgy big tits Velvet, Yuri takes that competition. I like Velvet, but Yuri blows that out of the water. Let's look at uh, let's look at some other JRPGs. What about Legend of Dragoon? Does anyone even remember the protagonist? I love Legend of Dragoon. I remember that game being badass. I don't remember shit about the main protagonist. I'm pretty sure he was a little bitch just like Cloud, wasn't he? You had uh, Chrono Trigger's protagonist was pretty badass. I like him. I don't remember his name either. Too many damn games, man. There's no way we're gonna lose. Hey. Let's look at uh let's look at uh Xeno Saga, Shulk. Any, any, anybody like Shulk? I mean, I felt like Shulk was just kind of meh. It was just a meh. It's the big pile of meh. Like, I mean, to be honest, we're, we're burning through these JRPG protagonists, and most of them are just fucking... Either edge lords, or or they're just boring, or they're whiny. Like I'm trying to tell me Yuri's underrated. Get the fuck out! I hope people get pissed off, man. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I'm gonna sit here and tell truths. If somebody has potato character, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say they're potato of character. Fucking Nathan Drake has more character to him than than Noctis. I didn't even really like Uncharted. Pinello was sodded. I hated Pinello. I refused to keep her in my party. I oh my god. Pinello is what happens if you had a fucking dumpster fire, put a brain in it, and then shot it to life like it was Frankenstein. Honestly, Final Fantasy XII should have been completely based around Balthier and Fran. And then you could have brought in the two annoying ass little kids, and I would have been okay with it. But Balthier and Fran were what that game was all about. Pinello was annoying and Vaughn I mean what, what needs to be said about Vaughn that already hasn't been said Vaughn I mean have you ever like honestly Vaughn Vaughn may get the award for most fucking vapid protagonist in JRPG history even more so than Noctis at least Noctis undergoes some character change towards the end of the game Vaughn is just like constantly this like oh wow I see how things could work now Why is that? They are so extreme in the other direction. It very seems like the most emotionally stable JRPG protagonist. The Japanese like overly emotional characters? I have no idea. Maybe. DMC5 will be in your future. Capcom didn't give me a review copy, so I just gotta wait to buy it tomorrow like everyone else.
Yeah, thanks, Burgundy. I tried to do that, man. At the event, I noticed that, like, a lot of people were, like, trying to capture boss footage. Just trying to, like, they were, like, trying to do, like, almost, like, let's play type shit. And I'm like, alright, well, one, I don't want to be uploading fucking boss footage on YouTube a month before launch, because that spoils shit for people. And two, fucking, this isn't, this isn't the let's play, so, like, why are people worried about capturing this shit? Like, let's learn about mechanics. I've heard a lot of people saying body is really good. I've actually had a lot of people coming to the video and saying they're like, oh, you know, your, your and body's videos are the only ones that were actually like good at explaining stuff about this game. And I'm like, damn, well, if people are putting me up there with your boy body, that's always a good sign. Alright, this way. Man, these things are annoying! I know there's how many. I got one magic line. Shit. And our content creator's hitting Sekiro. Your idea is as good as mine, man. I mean, I'd like to hope I get games early because it allows me to start producing content for it, get stuff prepped up. But, you know, like I said, I, I, had, I know people that got. Got uh, Devil May Cry back on fucking Wednesday. Here we are Thursday night. I tried to follow up an email to Capcom and still haven't heard anything. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess they're not going to give me a copy. I mean, if I wake up in my morning and there's a copy, that's cool, but. You know. My general rule of thumb is like, if you give me a press copy, I'm going to cover your game to some extent. But. I'm working on this since Capcom didn't give me Devil May Cry, you know? I'm gonna finish this before I start. That's more of a principle, you know? Mainly because, one, this is a game that is a longtime favorite of mine. Two, I'm enjoying the hell out of myself. And three, it's like, well, you know, clearly Capcom doesn't really give a shit if I cover their game or not, so fuck it. I'll get to it. I'm gonna play it. It's scoring great, but I'm not gonna do no. I'm not gonna fucking, you know, stay up till midnight to. Play the game launch the second it launches because no, sorry, I got a life, I got other things I'm trying to do. Oh. All right, here's the chest. Open up, dude! Got it! Corvus. That's what we came here for. Might as well get the other thing since we're here. Now that really wasn't too bad. It took about. People made this place sound a lot worse. We're almost through the first two. Oh, it's looking like it's about an hour layer. Alright, come here, Osiris. You gotta stop blocking. Stop that. Stand up. Oh, 
Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Got him. Little ones. I don't even see any little buggers over here. Push through DMC until Sekiro comes out, so it gets the reserves. Dude, if I'm if I don't expect DMC to last that long. From what I've um, from what I've seen of reports, um, it'll be probably like 20 episode let's play, and that's it. I'm hearing 15 hours if you do everything, or like 8 to 10 if you kind of speak through it. Which isn't a lot. But yeah, I mean, that, that is kind of standard for Devil May Cry, unless we're talking like challenge dungeons and shit. That was way too strong. I mean, either way, as soon as Sekiro starts, I plan on that's going to be basically the main thing that's on my channel. Which is why I'm pushing so hard to get this game done. When Sekiro's out, it's Sekiro. Especially because I want to get the Let's Play for Sekiro done fast so that I can start recording the walkthrough. Because ideally, I'd like to have the 100% walkthrough done. Man, I want some more. Um, you know, within about a week of release, if I can. Or at least have it started. Because the thing is, like, I've, I mean, you know, for a common thing for a lot of YouTube people is they'll upload videos and it'll just be like, like, I guarantee you, day one, as soon as people can, motherfuckers are going to be putting up videos that say, you know, Sekiro walkthrough part one, and it's going to be completely blind and they're going to call it a fucking walkthrough. When I first started doing YouTube, I did the same shit too. I was like, G gameplay walkthrough, yeah, that's what everyone's doing. And as I've grown my own brand, I'm like, you know what? That's fucking shitty, because this is not a goddamn walkthrough. It's literally just baiting fucking views, calling it a walkthrough. Which is why I call everything either Let's Play or Walkthrough. And, uh... I mean, with most games, you know, people don't fucking care. You title something, you know, Spider-Man Walkthrough, people are gonna fucking, like, oh, whatever, I'm gonna for Spider-Man. But, with something like Sekiro... You know, with Souls games in general, if you call your video a walkthrough and it's not a fucking guide, dude, the Souls community is like, what the fuck is this shit? I came here for a guide. This shouldn't be called a walkthrough. Which is exactly why I'm going to take my time, learn where everything fucking is, and put up the real walkthrough. Oh, no, I feel you. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell within the first couple minutes, but... The thing, all it takes is that initial view, and this person starts going up on, uh, you know, a couple views here or there, and you start climbing search analytics. And then the real walkthrough gets hard to, it's harder for people to find that, because the, the shit video that's just called walkthrough that isn't, is already at the top of the list, because it had just had those first clicks, you know? So YouTube's like, oh, I guess people like this. There's a lot of, like, shitty underhanded stuff that YouTubers do. Like, it's weird, because there's, I mean, like, I have a lot of friends that are also content creators, but, man, there's some people on the platform I can't fucking stand. We're supposed to go down? Hey, we did go over one. Oh, yeah, we do gotta go here. Down? It's down. There are some people I know on YouTube that are just fucking scummy. Like, and that's not even, I'm, like, I mean, like, I'm not even talking, like, the fucking idiots, people like Jake Paul and shit. I mean, there are, there are gaming YouTubers that are just fucking scummy. I mean, not many people would have bothered because they're not doing 100% fucking walkthroughs. But that's going to be the plan with Sekiro. I'm going to be the same shit, same as I did with Dark Souls. Stream it all. Take notes where everything's at, figure out boss strategies, um, approaches for how you want to go through each zone to, like, get the items you need while not, you know, wasting hours. What is wrong with Rita? Rita, what the fuck? I don't remember how to... No camera today because I'm tired. I'm just sitting here just drinking coffee and I don't want the ring light on my eyes. I don't remember how to 
changed character. I know you can, but I don't know exactly. It's not that. Is it this? No. Rita, do I need to fucking force feed you some? Here, look, there. Start casting spells. God damn. Oh, I know why she's not. Oh my god, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. Do not let TP drop. That's why. Fucking full arts. Full arts. Full arts. Full arts. You use shit until you are fucking dry. Sitting there, I'm like, why is she standing there? Rita. Items. Watch TP. Use items when TP is low. Why wouldn't she use use Oh my god, whatever. She wouldn't have so many TP problems if she wasn't dropping out fucking meteor storm every other second. Let's cast the demon lances, come on. Okay, um, I gotta go down, then over, and then down. Go this way. How to do the fire? Where's that follow-up fireball? That seems really inconsistent to me. I'm gonna Google that real fast. Uh, I gotta go down. Hold up, though. Let me see. Uh, Divine Wolf Blaze Fireball. I see it every now and then. Oh, here we go. The let's see, the second level adds an additional rising slash, while the third releases a bolt of flame that spikes the enemy back to the ground. Okay, so when I see that fireball, it's just because I was already in. Um, I basically reached the equivalent of a level 3 overlay in my combo. Nope, I fucked it up. Whatever, it's dead. <laughs> Just attack him, Raven! Jesus Christ! Place is done for now. Fuck that.
Well, not quite. There's a boss. Beat this boss. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay. What the hell is that thing, dude? It's a angel. A hand angel. Oh, that is creepy. You've thrown away your chance at mercy by coming here. I know that voice. You must be Oma. Wait, Oma's not Hugh? It's gross. <laughs> Vincent creatures, I've lived for a thousand years. I'm Oma, ruler of men. Dude, this looks like some Dark Souls shit. You look terrible. The miracle of Imrita, born of air as it is, comes at a price after 1,000 years. But you hid yourself from the others, sharing your feelings with no one. How tragic. Hold your tongue, I have no need for your pity. For behold, in exchange for this wretched form, I gained the power to slaughter the Antilochea. A fair trade. Well, listen to me, the Atafagos threatens this world. I implore you to use the considerable powers to help us. Your ancestors once said the same thing, you know. The Atafagos will be of no concern, which... Arios rises. If Reda comes from air, you're no different from the Antilochea. Thanks, war stuff. Uh, why are you doing this? Silence! I am nothing like them. Does the impudence of the traitorous Interlochea know no bounds? I shall remind you who the true ruler is, pathetic humans. Here, I was just starting to feel sorry for him. Here we go. Okay, I'm glad I saved this. Oh no, you're weak to light! Oh no! Let's finish this. Were you trying to do a spell? I don't think so, you ugly ass thing! Oh, 23,000. Oh, pass some fire into the mix, you little bitch! Dude, this thing is getting its ass beat! Did you stand up for like two seconds so I can... Man, he pulled off his move and he's still just getting... He's an overpower right now, and we're just chain stunning him. <laughs> no, he attacked out of the ring, you dumbass. We're not even over there. That's what happens when you replace your whole face with a bunch of uh, hands and thumbs. Oh my god. I don't even have my main healer, dude. Stop. There you go, buddy. Get that TP back. Uh, 54,000, huh? Alright. Alright, that kind of hurts a little bit. Ah, oh, you're basically dead. Boom! With the flip finish! Man, I want some more. Hey, I'm getting pretty good. <sighs> How could I have lost? 
to humans. Yeah, well, it takes more than a thousand year grudge to beat us. Sorry. Dark Illuminus. Why would you keep us here? Only to refuse us anew. Why? Why are we still here? What's this? Mana crystal. Think it could be Amrita. Bass. That looks like the treasure Siren's Fang heard of. Aye, so this is what Cypher gave me on board the Black Hope. And he gave you Amrita to heal you or something? Aye, there are side effects though. I'm not a child of the full moon after all. They gave me another shot at life, and now I'm fit as a young dolphin. Are you saying this stuff turned back the clock? Come on, you know it's not possible. That would explain a lot though. Well, did it? I'll leave that to your imagination. Matter, we only know that patty right in front of us. Very true. Going? Trust me, it's for the best. Yeah, that's probably wise. Oh, she's just burning it, I guess. This was paradise in the end. When down here knew of the monsters are fighting, they lived in peace. Could have been why Grand Clay thought it was paradise. Wonder what'll happen to them now. At the very least, they won't be seen as a threat to anyone. As far as they're concerned, this is how it's always been. Wonder if they could even survive above ground. Well, we can just leave the gates open for them until they decide to leave. I concur. Grand Clay would have done the same. We leave paradise hidden. Stop, Jack. Oh, I'm not feeding you right now. It's not dinner time yet. Yeah, I think so. There's typically... There's typically an elevator here to let you go deeper. But you basically need to beat the final boss, and then you can come back here. But the biggest thing is... I managed to get her thingy. Orbis. Which can't even... It's, you know, locked still. Despite that, it looks like it's... Wow, yeah, it's higher than anything else she has. That's nuts. Uh, Judas is pretty cool. Where's Judas at? This thing, Zarek. It's a big-ass spear. Where's yours? Yours was like an axe. This thing. Lisa Labalus. She has Mercurius. And then hers and his are in the next dungeon. Ebelum. His is obviously the best, though. Yeah, the Abyssian. Abyssian is sick. Yes, to the highest level we go. Oh, man, that's awesome. And with this done, I'm actually ready to, like, continue the Let's Play and make my way towards the very end of the game, which is great. Oh, nope, hang on, this this goes down. Nope, we're not doing that. No, we're not starting over again. This is the wrong door. Get me out of here. You get Judy's spear back, her original spear? I don't know, to be honest. How many hours is this in? Uh, 60. 60 hours in, this playthrough will probably wrap up around 65, 70. First, hold on. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I've heard Dragon Quest is pretty long. I just couldn't... I couldn't get through it, man. Ultimately, the turn-based combat for that game just killed it for me. Whereas the combat in this game is fucking slick. That's what keeps me coming back to this game. 
Oh, that's so awesome. I don't need to go all the way in there. It's just right here. Nice. That is super nice. Oh, man. It's good to have that done. Back to the ship. Uh, where's, where's the ship? There's my ship. All right. Uh, back to my old... And over that way is where I gotta go. So I gotta be in. Let me get on land and I'll save this real fast. And then I'm gonna wrap it on up. Let's land. Oh, excellent. Alright, that wraps up uh, part 97. <laughs>